Hey everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you've all had a good day or evening, because today we need to have, what they would say, a little chat about this funny and obscure game called Redfall. And overall, the state of Microsoft and how they handle their IPs and gaming division. As you have probably noticed, there is a human rights violation going around called Redfall, and that game is, a uh, not too good to say the least. I definitely think someone should be at least sued, or uh, someone should be absolutely ousted from wherever the fuck position they're in now. Because when I say I thought Last of Us Part 1 on PC was fucking bad, this shit makes it look like a fucking joke. So come with me and let's go take a look at the Metacritic scores, because I can say this without a doubt, it is absolutely fucking ass. As you can see here on Xbox. It has a 59 on the Metacritic score, and for the user review score, it is a 2.7. But wait, there's more, and it gets better. The PC version has a 57 Metacritic score, with a 1.8 user review score. That is fucking rough. I can say without a doubt, someone committed a human rights violation to get this game out. There was no quality assurance, there was no checking, there was no looking, it was just released for a quick profit. So let's not just talk about it, let's physically show you the absolute quality of this game. It should say something when a multi-million dollar AAA company cannot get basic functioning AI to work, let alone occasional to majority performance issues on your system. Now the big question is, where is Microsoft in all this? They should be looking over these games to making sure that these things can release in a functioning state. As you can see, this is absolute peak quality gameplay. This is how a AAA game should release. I live and wait for Starfield, Stalker, and many other games to see if they could release at this exact same quality. Because if there is one thing I can guarantee, we are absolutely getting our money's worth with these games. Wouldn't you agree? The scary thing is, this isn't even made in the creation engine, and it makes the creation engine look stable. That is a scary thought, to say the least. So we need to actually look at the real problem here. The real problem is, is Xbox's management of its studios. For those who don't know, Xbox takes an off-hand approach to its developers. It gives them a deadline and it expects them to be done by that deadline, with very little chances of delays, to my knowledge. Pretty much, Microsoft gives them money, a deadline, with very little checking at what's going on. Compare this to Sony, that is very hands-on, that will not let anything go unless it's necessary. But as I'm sure you can tell, that aged poorly with Last of Us Part 1 on PC. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you the AAA industry is beginning to suck real ass. Like we all know there were prospective companies that just absolutely sucked you should never buy from, but everyone seems to be doing it now. Everyone gets their shit copy of a game. There is a solution. There is a fix to these types of situations. There is always a fallback, and they are called indie games. Now we need to answer the big question. What was Arcane doing when it came to quality assurance? It beats me to know what they were doing for all these time of development. I remember when the name Redfall was going around and everyone thought it was about the Elder Scrolls 6. How wrong we were. It really goes to show if a really well respected studio like Arcane can fall on its ass with one release. Don't get me wrong, Deathloop was a meh from what I heard. I didn't really hear too many good things about it, but oh boy, this really shows that we should look forward to any future games from them. Honestly, I could end the video here and just say Redfall bad, but this really makes it hard to look forward to any future games from Xbox. What really needs to change is the upper management in Xbox to make sure that they can better maintain these studios and actually, you know, make them make a functioning fucking product on launch. This isn't such a hard ask. I just think Phil should get off his ass or be replaced with someone a lot more competent. Honestly, from my point of view as a long-time Xbox fan, this fucking sucks. We have not had a proper hard-hitting game in a long fucking time. I would love to see games like Halo, Gears of War, Fable come out and actually, you know, be good on launch. But guess what? They fall on their ass every time they launch. Either broken, incomplete, or just not engaging enough, akin to the originals. Or, at this point, for Fable, might as well just not even exist. We haven't heard anything about Fable in fucking ages. And it should say something when Microsoft's most well-respected releases from this year and last year is Hi-Fi Rush and Pentiment. And that should really say something for how Xbox is treating their game. If the smaller ones are doing better than the bigger ones, I think you have your concept of how it should be working wrong. Either way, boys, it's as simple as this. Redfall bad, 
Xbox needs to do better. Let's hope Phil Spender shows us the will of Phil and actually gets a good quality game out, hopefully by the end of this year. My hands are on Stalker 2 right now. Starfield, I have no faith in. I've expressed that many times through many of my videos. But that is all, people. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, join my Discord. Goodbye, take care. Um, don't buy Redfall. There you go.